Network of awareness Makes your brain coherent One of the fastest growing podcasts You can hear it 24-7 You got listeners out in London Information and list in Paris Echo spreading out, no parry Just dissect, digest, and share it The righteous rhymes hit the spirit Click 90 times, it won't perish Cause y'all's the mind ain't no fairy tale Like the belly, our parents It's time to rise, don't get wary United minds, it's apparent Download every single errand But most ain't fit to catch it Even if they were Larry Interviews, the interludes, they enter you, taking you on a journey like no other. It places you in a state of awareness. It's your fault if you hate the truth. Cause y'all would be always on this way, my brother. Better change your views. All praise yeah. Positive people, you are now tuned in to the Network of Awareness podcast radio station, giving you in-depth information on society and culture in America and abroad, with messages of inspiration, with keen insights, reputable interviews, and much more. So now, without further ado, your host of the Network of Awareness podcast, Aura, the Informationalist. Yeah. He sent greetings, people. Welcome to the Network of Awareness. This is Or the Informationalist. And I want to welcome you to tonight's broadcast Righteous Recognition, episode 22 of season 4. And yes, we got the free in the background. So today we got a great show lined up. And it's live out of the Tampa Bay area. It's approximately 7.04 p.m. for our 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time live broadcast show. So I want to welcome you to today's show. Now, we changed up the theme of Tuesday because, you know, I felt like Tell It Like It Is Tuesday wasn't the proper theme for what represents the network of awareness. Because we tell it like how it is every single day, 24-7. But... I felt like Tightrope Tuesdays was the better choice. I got to give shout outs to my queen for giving that great idea for the concept of the show based on my breakdowns about the righteous tightrope. So, people, we're going to have a great one today. I'm going to let this song play out and then I'm going to come back and we're going to do this the right way, the righteous way. Run up in the Senate, niggas. I sh- think you're getting over on us, but you're not. The system has been rigged, the government's been bought. The house don't represent us, it represents the ops. Stand with standing by, take the man right out. God damn it, we ain't having what you handing out. We want clean air, clean food, water. A future for our kids, bitch, this a new order. Tear down the wall, love is for all. Death to the man in the system we call. Freedom ain't free if you can't breathe. Real people stay woke, we ain't gon' sleep. Get it cracking, packing activism. A full clip, showing crackers, we ain't having all that bullshit. The aristocracy 
is gonna share, starting now. Stick it to the man, pull the trigger. Wow, stick it to the man. Stick it to the man. Stick, stick, stick. Stick it to the man. Stick it, stick it to the man. Stick it to the motherfucking man. You are now tuned in to the network of awareness. To the network of awareness. To the network of awareness. Please just tell me what's happening to me in plain English with, without the mumbo jumbo. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the network of awareness, brothers and sisters. And uh, tonight is now the theme is going to be for the week. We figured it out. It's going to be Tight Rope Tuesdays. And in today's show, we're going to talk about righteous recognition. Now, I know when it comes to the English language people, um, certain words can have a lot of different meanings. A lot of words actually are spell-driven in the English language where a combination of words or even one word can mean something completely different in its true origin of its meaning. It's a very deceptive language, believe it or not. It's a language that's based on maybe. But we do the best what uh, we do the best we can with what we have, right? Now, when I put out my intentions on doing this episode about righteous recognition. I think we're in a time right now where we have to recognize, you know how they say real recognizes real, but we have to recognize righteousness. We have to recognize the essence and the positive high vibration and frequency within that essence of an individual, of a human being. Of a human being. And when we can start to recognize all that is good, all that is happening the right way, when we can recognize that we are an expression of the most high and truly embrace that, then the next level is to see everybody like that. And so proven otherwise, right? Because, you know, there's a lot of shady people out here. There's a lot of grimy. There's a lot of wickedness. But at the end of the day, with our spiritual eyes, we have to recognize the righteous, the righteousness in life. Not just in each other, but, you know, in nature. Some of you brothers and sisters saw that, that video I had these like kind of weasels. I don't know what they're called, people. You know, they 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 look like weasels, but they swim in the water a lot. They dig these holes. They're like gophers slash weasels, whatever. Um, pretty cute animals. And they were swimming in the in the creek by my house. And I took a, you know, I took a one minute clip of it on um IG. But I had mentioned in the post that nature brings peace of mind and nature has a lot of righteousness to be recognized. And for the theme of, of these shows moving forward, this type of show is going to be very equivalent to the theme of walking the righteous tightrope. And I have a diagram right here. Where, as you can see, like I described before, I'm actually going to do a, a video on it, but it's going to be very um, similar to what you see in the image. As you can see, this, this, like we're all on this very narrow path that is very thin, thinner than the soles of our feet. And when we walk on it, we have to walk very carefully and we have to be very disciplined 
in maintaining balance. And I equate that to maintaining um, discipline to maintain balance in, in your deeds, in the way you're operating in your life. Remaining righteous. That's why I put it on the back of that being that's walking across that tightrope. And it's important now more than ever because we're being attacked while on this path to recognize those that truly are of righteous nature. And recognition, just like, in my opinion, recognition is like friendship. It's consistent. It's like relationships. It has to be consistent through the good and the bad. And I just feel like it's important that we understand that when we are around those that are doing the right things, because it's the right thing to do, because they're compelled to do it, the recognition has to be consistent. And speaking of that, I looked up the word recognition. Like, like I said, with the English language, it only goes but so far, but we do what the best we can with what we have. Now, recognition is two, it's two uh, descriptions to the noun. The first is the identification of someone's or something or person from previous encounters or knowledge. The identification of someone or something or person from previous encounters or knowledge. Number two is acknowledgement of something's existence, validity, and legality. Now, I also looked up, give me a second here. I just wanted to look up righteous as far as like what it says. It's an adjective. It's of a person or conduct. Morally right, justifiable, virtuous. Very good, excellent. That's the second. So we have very good, excellence, identification, and validity and legality of something. I always have a hard time saying that word. <laughs> but in actuality, when, put it like this, when you start changing your life for the better, when you start surrounding yourself around a consistent level of positivity because you are in control of your reality, you create your reality as you go. We are manifestors. We are creators, right? If we choose to be. And when you start surrounding yourself around nothing but positive energy, which is supported by positive people, it's very important to recognize it for what it is. Recognize its excellence. Recognize its practicality. Recognize its uh, order. Because it's rare these days. And we are, you got to remember, we're human. We're in the flesh. So we're still contained spiritually. We're going to make mistakes. And sometimes the mistake that we make, and I've made it plenty of times, I do it a lot less now, but I still do from time to time, is where you don't really recognize and appreciate the good things that you have. Where it's almost like, not so much that you take it for granted. I'm not saying to that level. But it's kind of like you don't really see it for what it is and recognize it for what it is and show a certain level of gratitude and appreciation, appreciation to it on a consistent basis. That's what I mean. And we fail sometimes to do that. And it's okay because we're human. But the more conscious and aware that we become ingrained to practicing that universal principle of gratitude Righteous recognition becomes more fluid. And it's something that I'm, you know, I've been practicing for a long time. I've been getting even better at it because I, it comes naturally to me, but I've been 
doing it more intentionally. And um, it feels good because if you're constantly appreciating all the good things and the positive people that are around you, chances are that your gratitude and appreciation will be well-received. And those types of persons, people, environments, atmospheres, and all that other stuff that you are in control of within your reality and all praise to the most high for the ability to do so, then it's something you're going to want on a regular basis. And then hopefully, if everything works out and it becomes a certain practice for a certain period of time, then it becomes part of the spirit and it becomes ingrained and it becomes second nature. It's like tying your shoes, buttoning up your shirt or whatever, or brushing your teeth. Give me one second, brothers and sisters. Let me take a sip of this alkaline. So I want to thank Danita <laughs> coming in the chat room. It's kind of dead tonight, right? I was like, damn, nobody's in the chat room. Shout out to Sister Danita. Thank you for, for starting the trend. I know people will trickle in now. Keep hope alive. Um, people, I'm so used to like uh, my live shows having people. When I don't see people like in the first five minutes, I'm like, oh, that's weird. But that's a good thing, right? That's what I was talking about just now is this level of consistency with appreciating the positive things that are in your life. One thing that I show a great level of gratitude to is my listeners, you, you people that are listening now, some of the new people that have come in, and also the people that on a consistent basis are making an effort to come into the chat rooms and have uh, building sessions uh, with each other and on the information that's being spoken about. So I greatly appreciate it. I thought it was important today to talk about righteous recognition, but also in, in respects to the theme of the show, which is Tightrope Tuesdays, um, it's very important that we don't get distracted. There's a verse that I wrote way back when, when I was with, uh, with this hip hop group and, um, the couple of lines that is, that always stuck out to me, this verse, you know, a lot of the rhymes that I used to write back in the days and even present day, but back in the days, I wasn't conscious of it. Like I didn't, like I am now. And, um, This flow was coming out so fast, like in my mind to where when I was writing it on paper, I didn't hesitate. You know, like sometimes when you're writing rhymes, you're going to come up with a bar or two and you're going to have intermittent pauses. You're going to want to come back to it sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Writing songs is a process and sometimes they come quick and sometimes they come slow. The, the Most of the time you want them to come quick because that's really when it's at a high high frequency because you're dialed in. Spiritually connected to whatever the spirit wants to express in it, in the language. But sometimes you got to come back to stuff. And when it came to, when it came to like, ah, like, I don't even know how to put into words people, but we have like follow the source that'll put you on course to be your own boss. Don't get lost in the action of distraction because the same attractions will close you in like captions. I'm masking the truth that's everlasting. Well, I'm heartily harassing in a hyperactive fashion because I have a passion for expansion. And closed in like caption, that part of the bar is very equivalent to what I felt like at that time, I was in my early 20s, where it's like, if you get distracted, you're going to get closed in. Because all of the opportunity that's in the present moment, that's, you know, for the taking, for the experience, 
you're going to be closed off to it because you're distracted. And in this diagram, when I found these little demons, right? I was thinking about this because this is part of the imagery that I've described um, when I've talked about walking the righteous tightrope is that there's always going to be, especially think about it like this, living in a two-thirds world where most people like being in the matrix now. It's not even a, a matter of them not knowing that they're, they're in the matrix. A lot of them do know, and they love being in it. And when you're on this path, when you're on this path that's your quest for salvation, you're going to get a lot of that. You're going to get, you know, these demons, these wicked spirits, these psychic vampires, these succubus, these, uh, you know, werewolves or whatever you, whatever entity you want to describe. These people are lurking now more than ever because that it's an environment that is more conducive to their behavior than it is to your behavior. But you got to stay focused. You have to have great discipline and remain righteous. And even in your great di discipline, you might falter. You might trip up a little bit, but you won't fall. And sometimes when you're on this righteous path, and you're on the tightrope and you got to maintain great balance. It's a situation where maintaining that balance is going to strain you. Just like it strains every muscle and every fiber in your body. It's going to strain you spiritually. And that's really a test of will. Not so much that the most high is testing us. It is the environment that we are in is testing us. And spiritually on how we handle it is what the most high is going to decipher if it is of righteous nature or if it's of benevolent nature. And for me personally, now that we're talking about this, I have a, a long ways to go. And I hope that I have double the lifetime that I've already lived so I can have another, you know, 40 plus years but regardless of where I'm at, I feel like I'm on this tightrope right now. And I'm on the tightrope so much that I'm loving it. I'm, I'm not even at the point where I'm afraid of falling off. I'm not at that point. I'm just at the point where I'm just dialed in on getting better at maintaining balance. So with that, with that being said, brothers and sisters, let's take a intermission, a brief one, and then we'll come right back to episode 22, Righteous Recognition. Let's go. And I do have the explicit button on today, so we're going to get, you know, we're going to spend, <laughs> we're going we're gonna to have some cusses, some cuss words. All right, here we go, people. I built this shit, me, brick by brick, and I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just cause you don't like the way another nigga talk, talk, talk.
to that. For one chance, just one chance, to come back here and tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take, but they'll never take our freedom. Tuesdays at the Network of Awareness. We're back. So, shout out to all the people coming into the chat room. Shout out to all the people listening outside the chat room. And shout out to all the people that will be downloading on all streaming and listening platforms. If you haven't already and you enjoy the content, subscribe to the network of awareness.com. Um, also, download the shows from the website, it's very easy. Um, also TV network coming out, very excited about that because you're going to be getting three different, you're going to be getting three different types of creativity in a TV network. So it's like, it's going to have three producers, so to speak. Right. And you're also going to get a collaboration of that. So I'm very very much looking forward to serving you brothers and sisters the best way I know how. And hopefully you find uh, my, uh, my content and the content of my brothers to be of great substance and helping you in your everyday life in any way you can, whether it be through inspiration, whether it be through motivation, whether it be through certain musical tones and frequencies to uplift the spirit, Whatever it may be, it's all to serve the Most High. And because we are extensions and expressions of the Most High, and we are that light, we have to serve each other as well. And that's what this whole concept of the show is, but it also has the component of what the theme of these days out of the week are going to be. So now we have Most High Mondays. And let me tell you something. Um... Thanks again for everybody who joined the broadcast uh, last night, but that was a great show. I think uh, Robert Moore gave a lot of great, great information when it comes to food and when it comes to exercise and just, you know, feeding your mind as well, right? So I think we, t we covered a lot, of, a lot of great things when it comes to spirituality, in my opinion. Because... One of the reasons why I put health is holy is because it's just, it's in coincidence with this show today when it comes to righteous recognition. I mentioned about this righteousness in the very nature that we are exposed to every day. You know, whether it be the grass, whether it be the trees, whether it be the birds, whether it be the weasels, 
or the turtles by my house or the peacocks. It's like I feel like I have like a little safari by my house. It's pretty cool, though. I ain't going to lie. I appreciate it every single moment I get to watch it. And sometimes I film it. I just don't want to be the nature guy, (laughs) you know what I'm saying, filming every day because I could do that. But I don't know. I don't I don't want to, you know, misconstrue the theme of the network of awareness. But hey, when I get chances and I feel compelled in my spirit to do so, you know, I take I take videos, man. And that video that that I put out the other day, it was a pretty cool one. It's important that we stay connected to the things that are positive, to the things that give us a sense of purpose that fill us up with um, things like love and joy and happiness and also things that fill, fill us up with discipline and resiliency and dedication and all those other good things, all those other good universal principles to practice. So I ask everybody, you know, shout outs to the people in chat room. It's like, If you haven't, if you are, great. But if you haven't, start to recognize that which is righteous in your life. Start to recognize all the things that are right in your life. And truly put a lens on it and examine it. And after you examine it, appreciate it even more. And be grateful for it even more. Because things are already real, right? We've been saying it for a while. It's like things are about to get real. Things are about to, but it's, we there. The only difference now is that many of us are here. You know what I mean? We're in this picture right here. We're, we're on this, we're on this rope right now, man. And you got people poking at you. You got demons, you know what I'm saying? You got these wicked spirits poking at you. And then you got them looking at you at a distance or up close. And then you got a lot of them yelling in your mouth. Those, those, uh, I mean, yelling, yelling out their mouth, you know, real loud with megaphones and really trying to irritate you. Those are the real assholes, right? But you got all of this going on. And... Not only do you have that going on, but you have the whole entire responsibility of not tipping over on this thin ass rope. For me, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's an adrenaline rush sometimes. I'm going to be honest with you. Some people look at it as like, oh, you know, this person has a certain belief system and, you know, all this other shit that criticisms that people have, which they're more than welcome to, but I find it to be very exciting because you're doing something that's not of the status quo or of the norm. And what's exciting about it is that it takes a lot of energy to not fall victim to being distracted. Because when you are distracted, you get closed in from all of the great opportunities. And I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, at times, does it put strain? It puts strain every day. But that strain, for me personally, I use it as fuel to want to just get better at dealing with it. Because I don't get tempted, you know what I mean, of the world too much. Like, I don't, it's not like... You know, I just watched UFC for the first time in a while again. But I used to watch that faithfully, brothers and sisters. I used to watch it like like it was guaranteed. You know, if, if it came on two days out of the week, I was on it. If it came out every Saturday, I was on that. But it's a difference now. When you start getting connected to yourself spiritually, that becomes a responsibility in getting to know yourself because now... Once you get to understand yourself a lot better, you now have to participate in the activities that came from that knowledge and be very disciplined in getting better at them. It's a job, (laughs) 
but it's a, it's a righteous one. And it's probably the best one you can ever have, which is serving the most high. So I ask you, brothers and sisters, are you recognizing what's righteous in your life? And if not, start now. And do the right thing, right? Because it's the right thing to do. And a lot of, a lot of people right now, they want to get on that rope, man. There's a lot of people itching to get on that rope, believe it or not. I know a lot of times when you see the world and all of the chaos within it, and you see a lot of the overall stupidity when living in a country like this on a, on a social scale, like on a, just on a social scale, you see the toxicity, you see the ignorance and all that. But what I'm basically trying to say is that this is the time where there's a lot of people that are what we consider to be lovers of the matrix are now starting to break away from it and wanting to get on a path like this. Still nervous, still some on the fence, but the desire is building up. One thing that I enjoyed about when the pandemic first started was being able to have conversations once the, um, you know, the, the science appliance came out, being able people to, to have a conversation with them and then have them go from yes to no. It's a beautiful thing. And I've got, I've had the opportunity to recognize a lot of righteousness in people throughout my life. I think the most high really graced me with that wonderful opportunity of a multitude of experiences of just meeting certain people from all different walks of life that just had this light to them where they just, they just shine bright in who they are. And it's very few, but when you add it up throughout the years, the few become somewhat many as far as the, because to me, those types of people, they leave that lasting impression on you that you never forget. Like, for example, I've met Robert Beerpel a couple of times. I was supposed to meet him in person, uh, but didn't happen. Uh, we were supposed to meet, I think, um, last year, the end of last year. But something came up or whatever. But even having the experience to interview him twice, but the first time when he said everything happens for a reason, and I said it, right, because it's something I say a lot. And he's like, well, do you know what the other half is? And I said, no. He said, that reason is there to serve you. And it just blew my mind. But being able to talk to him offline and on live broadcasts, I got to know him a little bit. And he had a very like short term, but long lasting, significant impact on my life. And that's why I recognize him very righteously because he had a very righteous impact on my life. So I ask, do you, are you or do you recognize that which is righteous in your life? Those things that are going very well, that have a certain level of consistency. Because there's a lot of people, <laughs> and this is, I was, I was keeping it positive, but now I'm going to go to the dark side. I'm going to the dark side, people. There's a lot of people that are funny out here, right? And there's a lot of people that are unrighteous and they love it. They are lovers of their, you know, wickedness. They're lovers of their dumminess, their dumbness. And you got to be very careful with these people and not get distracted by them because it's very easy. Because there's a lot of people, and you've heard me talk about it plenty of times, that say they're about, and it's not even about this truth community, even though now that's a term. I think I should start hashtagging it. But there's, there's really like this term of a truth community. And there's a lot of people that like to gravitate to these so-called communities 
but they're not really, they're not really, they have weak intentions on, on being really part of that life, which really is like, it's people that to me, I think it's just people that recognize the most high, right? Those that recognize the most high. That's, that's the best way I can say it. But there's people that fake the funk and they got this like, you know, if, if I was put it in layman terms, they got a chip on their shoulder. But what they haven't realized is that they put the fucking chip there in the first place. So shout out to all the people that have come into the chat room. Um, if if you want to ask any questions on the second half after I do the intermission, um, put them out there. And um, I just wanted to say that when it comes to righteous recognition, um, something that it's done for me is that it's kept me very disciplined in not getting, not feeling a void. Not feeling like I'm missing out on something because I'm doing this or I'm doing less than what I used to do. But what I started to realize is that the powerful concept of less is, less is more. And I believe the most high truth lies within that, within that statement. The less that I'm doing as far as like not being of the worldly world of things and of the status quo a uh, society, the greater I feel fulfilled in those so-called less experience or less activity. That's all I'm saying. So let's take a, another intermission and um, we'll be right back. This is uh tightrope Tuesday. And since she's in the chat room, you know, she came up with uh, the um, the title or the concept, right? Tightrope Tuesday. Because tell it like it is Tuesday. I mean, we do that every day, man. But this one's a lot better. And I hope that many of you are maintaining balance on your walk, on your quest to salvation, brothers and sisters. I truly mean that. And I truly hope that that is happening for you. And I know that in time, things are not going to be as, you know, there's going to be a lot of uh, turmoil, but I, I, tr I just have this feeling that those that are putting forth righteous intentions and are really serving uh, a purpose higher than themselves that is in service to the most high, I just think we're going to be good. That's why it's important that we maintain this level of vibration of the things that we allow to become a part of our life, whether it's our environment, right? Where we live, the trees, the, you know, like for me, I got the creek, I got these animals. But even if you're in the city, you know what I mean? The city has an environment too. Whatever environment you're in, you know, if that's going well, and then your personal life, like with your either your loved ones, your your friends, whatever it is, if you got those people that are 150%, just recognize them for who they are. Show them that you do appreciate them. Because uh there's not a lot of it these days. It's very scarce. And it's all by design. Many of us have, have been socially engineered and are continuously becoming socially engineered. So with that being said, let's take this intermission and um, I'll be right back, people. Let's do it. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you are looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. 
Skills I have acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare Skills for people like you. Make me a nightmare for people like you. Couple of bullets, all I need is a reason for me to load it and pull it. There goes one in the shoulder, another one in the leg. Gotta finish the job and put another one in his head. I was told it's him or me. I'ma live to see another day. Kill the dude to kill and I don't see it any other way. People do the talking, I don't care what motherfuckers say. Keep your social distance or you getting blown the fuck away. No more Mr. Nice Guy, I gotta be the bad boy. I'm a high alert, I got all of you niggas paranoid. I'm way too much at peace for you to ever bother mine. That's the bottom line, cause we all live in the world. Time to nine on me. Yeah, you know I got the nine on me. It's time to ride or die, homie. It's time to ride or die, homie. Man, this how we survive, homie. Yeah, this how we survive, homie. That's why I keep the nine on me. Yeah, you know I got the nine on me. Do or die till I die, homie. I leave a nigga paralyzed on me What you know about the nine on me? With that 45, feel like plies, homie I look up at the sky like I'm the guy, homie Doubt I'm grinding off the muscle you supply for me What you know about your bestie trying to ride on you? I ain't never tell, bitch, I define lawyer you That type of upper shit just make my blood boil you How you hate me after all the shit I done for you? I- now I'm forced to get my head right But that's kinda hard with you to dodge death twice Respect life, but this ain't a show I'm dead nice I'm the one that could bring us to the next fight Shed light over everything bad, I I'm the one with a gun, it's a tech fight Blah. I built this shit! Me! Brick by brick! And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just cause you don't like the way another nigga talk, 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 you know, see the future. You know, I mean, hopefully, if I have more good days, I'll rap. You know, more serene. All my life, I've been fighting to get to a place I belong. I belong. It gets hard, but I won't quit. Cause I know the Lord's made me strong. Cause life is still gonna always be there All my life I've been fighting To get to a place I belong uh, I understand and I really get it I understand everybody's different I understand upbringings can be rough Not everyone was raised with privilege I understand everybody's cards are different I understand everybody's got a mission And life wasn't even your decision You were just stitched up, born, raised, and placed in this position it Sounds unfair, you didn't get a say But Yahweh makes no mistakes You might resent it, but your life plays a role In a big picture Yah has made So whether you were raised, wealthy, or poor There's no mistake as to why you were born Don't be ashamed so torn, learn to embrace that you're better than the norm. All my life, I've been fighting to get to a place I belong. I belong. It gets hard, but I won't quit. Cause I know the Lord's made me strong. Made me strong. Can't run, can't hide. Cause life. 
Everything that I say, it's never been a lie. All the pain I endure, it made me wanna cry. Cause it hurt deep inside. It pains me every day, it pains me every night. How much I gotta fight to keep myself alive? Can I take a break from shit in a minute? I'm just gonna lose it. I don't wanna live like this. Self sound much better. I could get out the way, no suicide. Somebody gotta take me. I'm a battle to the end. Guarantee never been a coward in this. Just fear is good to better pay attention. What I gotta say, it's up in it. A lot of people cannot do this transparent it's a different task to manage spread it out to the planet knows me on a personal tip gotta be straight from the hip from the hip to the darkness i don't want a part of it believe what i say i want positive energy never won't i need a little bit of peace i really want to show all 32 teeth got a beautiful smile it's been a while i'm a really nice guy when i see you high five only thing keeping me calm when i praise ya praise ya when i praise ya all my life I've been fighting to get to a place I belong. I belong. It gets hard, but I won't quit. Cause I know the Lord's made me strong. Made me strong. You can't run, you can't hide. Cause life is still. saying that you're you know saying that your music is not um positive but i'm just making a point like the state of mind that you're in like as you're making this music you know instead of you know you know being always angry all the time which i mean like i said it's, it's in your right but still like being able to rap from a more positive state of mind like you know just more blissful you know what i mean and not so much i guess hurt and anger and so you know what i mean because like I said, at the end of the day, it's better for you, man. It's for your own, it's for your own benefits, for your own sanity. And uh, yeah, I think you, I definitely think you'll get there. You know, at some time point. Tell my friend. Yeah. Only time will tell. Yeah. to move forward. Embrace the darkness. 
for the darkness is your friend. So there is no end. It's only an illusion to what has been. Follow the light and let the spirit embark on a flight to a destination unknown. But to a place where love is the building blocks that call this place home. We are always accompanied on this journey but still feel alone. It is never the same journey or experience that is ever shown. It is your imagination that awakens a passion that will weather the storm. Because it is the pure compassion in the soul that is vigorous and strong. We're one with eternity, so let's be connected to the positive dream that allows us to fulfill our infinite destiny, most definitely. Let's try to be the best people we can be with a power that is humanly new to see. So mistaken dismay can lead us astray, so let us stay, for it is our free will that allows us to make a choice. So I choose Yahweh with no delay. Out of made mistakes on purpose To divide the word from the worthless Reveal the facts to be certain No pain, no gain in the verses My faith been alive before churches Cause Yah is person, I'm person So I'm worried about complicated versions Cause the call to divine divergence I'm still hurting, so searching Networking and murking Anytime they can drop my curtain With a spirit that city suburban I'm seriously merging And physically working on my purpose To lyrically service The uh, mental mouth never until I perish Yah was perish, gonna save the awakened Then take him to an ageless haven Patient, I can't stray away Gotta keep obliterating the pavement Still remember that day on the phone mark He said, yo, take, don't you take your foot off the gas Always something to give y'all praises We're the dark oasis, countless cases A peak of faith, there's some need to patience Defeat the chases, we seek his graces For true salvation, we keep embracing We go on blazing these revelations Teach the haters, no old cases Good vibrations, we back to basics To build foundations, y'all defeat is Satan Out of made mistakes on purpose To divide the worth from the worthless Reveal the facts to be certain No pain, no gain in the verses My faith been alive before churches Cause y'all is Person, I'm person, so I'm worried about complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching, networking and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain, but a spirit that city suburban. I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose to lyrically service the mental mouth never until I perish. You will pursue an act of violence, stern persistent act of defiance, freely forming a righteous alliance, truly against the science appliance. On a mission with wisdom and guidance, steady to be in the ignorant science, silly convicted and non compliant. Spiritual wars to move in Let's science. Let's talk about what matters. Drop the vanity, folks out here losing their sanity. Kids popping off, lost in fantasies. People grieving over loss of family. The evil that be with the power, turning the people with creeds to cowards. Seeking to seize believers with vows. Many this TV can see that it's foul. Out of made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been alive before churches. Cause Yah is person, a person. So I'm worried about complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching. Then working and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain. With a spirit that city suburban, I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose to lyrically service the mental mouth never until I perish. Depression gone with every song, music led by another echelon. To get you strong, keep pressing on, long after we dead and gone. From dust till dawn, we're righteously armed with spiritual lessons from Yah. We where we belong, we keep it on, the righteous with third is Zion. Records embellished with heavenly eloquence. Elohim's presence presently evident. Intricate elements, infinite intelligence. Spiritual specimens, lyrically resonant. The people's inheritance, smaller percentages. Can't believe measured and meant to be shared. With the message projected, cemented, embedded. The sensible question is, what will you give from it? Made mistakes on purpose to divide the worth from the worthless. Reveal the facts to be certain. No pain, no gain in the verses. My faith been alive before churches. Cause Yah is person, a person. So I'm worried about complicated versions. Cause the call to divine divergence. I'm still hurting, so searching. Then working and murking. Anytime they can drop my curtain. With a spirit that city suburban, I'm seriously merging and physically working on my purpose to lyrically service the mental mouth never until I perish. You are now tuned in. 
into the network of awareness.
I had to make it All them chances I kept taking on myself All within, I yourself, I channel him Yahweh God me, how can I lose these niggas fools Taking COVID jabs, I see right past the hokey doke This shit, the joke, just keep your third eye woke Cause they will try to sleep you, but my vibration rising higher Gone, I'm gliding, wings are spreading, now I'm flying Government spying, they trying to kill you off One by one, agenda 21, 22, they keep hiding the truth Open up your eyes, stand in your truth Open up your eyes, keep on me and you Open up your eyes, stand in your truth Open up your eyes, just keep on me and you Use your own mind, be your own man Use your third eye Gotta take a stand, always walk by faith Fuck man what they say, just always be you Keep on seeking truth, really growing, awakening, vibration raising I'm flowing, toxic energy, I'm shedding, seeing everything with my third eye You can't relate if you sleep, you a sheep, you can't see what's going on in front of you You hypnotized by the TV, Gee. This shit getting crazy, pushing agendas, the truth is constantly hitting You forbidden from waking up anybody when you do, they silence it. Only way to get ahead is sell your soul. Once you jump down the rabbit hole, can't turn back. Open up your eyes, stand in your truth. Open up your eyes, keep on me and you. Open up your eyes, stand in your truth. Open up your eyes, just keep on me and you. Use your own mind, be your own man. Use your third eye, gotta take a stand. Always walk by faith, fuck man what they say. Just always be you. Keep on seeking truth. Use your own mind. Be your own man. Use your third eye. Gotta take a stand. Always walk by faith. Fuck man what they say. Just always be you. Keep on seeking truth.
So you know how it goes, right? Tell you I done been through the mud and the dark nights Always had a flow, but I've been through the ball fights Not a big dog, but I got a big bite Always been fly, I've been known to take flight Learned all my lessons, never make mistakes twice Never dim my shine, cause I've always been bright Always been nice with the hands, so I know how to break a nigga down Just in case a nigga come around, I'm ready Once you get a nigga mental in that zone, I'm deadly That's why I prefer to be left alone You can't really tame a beast that is meant to roam Feast as long as my heart beats like a metronome Graduated from the streets with a cap and gown Even I know what goes up will come crashing down Down, 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 it all comes 
down, 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 it all comes down, 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 it goes all the way, it goes all the way, it goes all the way, crashing down, crashing down. Have you hated or ever been hated on? Watch how I debate this while I go and play the song. Am I wrong or am I right? While I'm writing, see it was written. Ha, I knock him out like I was Tyson. Ain't no tie, son. I've been down, down. See, I've been spitting for a minute. I am different. I'm the one. They say I'm gifted. I just want the big money to go and match the lyrics. Ha, and then you crash, burn, feeling like life cheated you from your last turn. Feeling like I was a bad sperm from the ex, bugging with the heat. Yeah, mash burn. They notice the way I talk. I think they really hate me because they know I'm from New York. I had a lesson in court. I swear I made it a sport. A bronze nigga for sure. Spiraling down the fuck out of me. Down, 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 it all comes. Down, 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 down it all comes. Down, 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 it goes all the way. It goes all the way. It goes all the way. Crashing down, crashing down. Life is an unpredictable and amazing journey. Our ever-changing conditions within today's society and the constant new trends influencing cultures can become overwhelming, to say the least. But no worries. The Network of Awareness podcast radio show brings peace of mind in these challenging times. Follow us on your favorite podcast listening app and join our community of Network of Awareness at networkofawareness.com. Hey, welcome back to the Network of Awareness. I'm your host, owner and founder of the Network of Awareness or the Information List. Thank you for all the people that are downloading the show. Uh, you can always go to networkofawareness.com to download the show. And um, today is episode 22, Righteous Recognition, right? So we covered that in the first segment where it's important that we recognize that which is right. Now, if anybody throughout the rest of the broadcast wants to plug in a question, you feel free to do so. In the meantime... Um, I want to talk about a particular topic that seems to be becoming very relevant all over again, like clockwork. Um, and that is gun control and gun violence, specifically when it comes to mass shootings, specifically when it seems to all very well be programmed deliberately and also indirectly. And the reason I say indirectly is because the the environment that we live in, it just makes people toxic. So a lot of times, <clears throat> a lot of times it just doesn't matter. Um, sometimes it's within MK Ultra, uh, you know, different types of uh, black ops projects and, you know, real underground subterranean stuff. And then, you know, when it comes to like super soldiers, but then you have just the regular everyday, you know, fucked up individual that got it all fucking twisted and does crazy shit. There's a lot of them out there. And I've noticed that it's starting to become a big issue. Again, they did it with Parkland, Florida out here. Remember that? And firearms is starting to have a lot of attention on it. And firearm sales have risen up. And I just feel like, I feel in my spirit that even though this is uh, something they've done for decades, every, every 10 years, there's a certain time frame within those 10 years where they focus on some type of gun reform or gun control and gun safety and all that. But it's not the guns. We know that, brothers and sisters. A lot of you that are very self-aware understand that it's not the guns. It's the environment. It's the mindset of the people that have that gun in their possession. That's really what it all comes down to. I feel, though, in my spirit that the reason 
why they're going to keep a consistent push on this is because there are things that are coming, people, that shout outs to, um, I've noticed that brother Trevon has been putting out a lot of great content as of late. You know, he puts out some good videos that he finds. And I saw that video with the, uh, I think he was a Republican senator. A Democrat, doesn't matter. I think he's, he, I definitely know he was from Pennsylvania. But when he was reading the uh, the document, there was blacked out, right? Classified. <laughs> I made a comment on it that you, we cannot lose focus. And, you know, my show has dedicated a lot of time to the science appliance. But we can, brothers and sisters, I'm going to just do it as a reminder because I haven't spoken about it, right, in a while, which is pretty cool. Like actually had a conversation about the science appliance. It's been it's been like a couple of weeks or whatever. But when I heard the senator giving his report or of reading that classified document that was mostly classified, it had pretty much all the important parts blacked out, right? That's usually how a classified document is read anyway. But when you read him between the lines of what he's reading. He's basically saying that there is going to be some type of uh, event amongst the people and uh, it's going to require uh, a lot of police, a lot of military and, you know, first responders and all that. Because, and I'm going to say this is my opinion, right? Because I can't say this is going to happen. But I, when I read it between the lines, the first thing that came to me was that a lot of these people have alien DNA and don't even know it. A lot of the, let's just call them substances that are within this serum, it is highly triggered by radioactivity, radiation. And I feel like when that different, uh, what they call the chemical and airborne warfare really happens, along with the technology to support, you know, the whatever signal that's going to be put out or frequency, it's going to distort a lot of people in a really bad way, people. I just have that feeling where it's like, These people got something inside of them that is going to awaken by a certain signal. And that's what I read in between that document that was read by that Republican senator, whatever his name was. If you haven't checked it out, I think Brother Trevon has it on his IG page. Uh, Shout outs to you for putting that out because they've read documents like that before in the past. And some of those documents were talking about the reptilians. Right, the reptilians, the basically the the demons that are amongst us, the those they live characters, but they really do exist. And there's going to be a point where there's not going to be any more hiding. And a lot of people think that this type of talk is crazy talk, but I think that the world is transitioning to a point now where a lot of supernatural things are becoming very very common. Very common, where it's happening more and more. And due to the fact that we now have um, technology that can record these events in real time, we're seeing a lot more of it to be real. The problem is that they love the matrix, right? So no matter how much you're awakening to the reality of things. And when you truly start awakening here in the United States to all my peoples out in the USA, the United shenanigans of America, you already know that this is a challenging place because this, this is the land of distraction. This is the land of manipulation, deception. Everything we've been told here is a lie. Uh, we have a question though. Shout out to Alkaline J. Line says, with all the killings in Chicago, do you see the National Guards taking over the city? I see the National Guard 
and other military and police taking over most cities or trying to. <laughs> They're going to try. You know, but honestly, brother, I don't necessarily believe it's going to be. See, like those killings in, in Chicago are all socially engineered. They're all, you know, manipulated to happen. When you start giving the, the young folks that don't really care about life weaponry that you normally use in the military, it's a recipe for disaster. And that's kind of what happens in places like Chicago, you know, where guns are very accessible and it's high level guns. Like I saw that, I saw that, that I think it was either a nine, a Glock. It was a Glock. It was an orange and black. It was bad. And it had this round, I forgot what they called the clip, but it was one of those round clip extensions. Probably shot like 24, 30, 40 rounds, 50. Who knows? It was insane. And um, that's why there's a lot of killings in Chicago. But I do believe, brother, that we're going to have this like event. And I, 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 t I, and I'd say event that's going to be tied in somehow, some way. It could be weather modification or whatever. But I feel like we're going to have an event with people. Because I remember what the guy told me, man. The most high puts people in our lives for a reason. And when, when it was around January, January or February, I think it was January. This guy was telling me about how that these science appliances that are going to be coming out and all this technology and the, you know, these things that they're trying to do is really going to decalcify the pineal gland. It's going to pretty much wipe it out. And I want you to think about that. What would the world be like if everybody that is tagged, let's just, you know, I'm going to be uh, conservative with it. But let's say everybody that was tagged with this, all of a sudden they all lose their pineal gland. What can they, what can happen with them? Could a frequency or some type of signal now be able to send some type of radio wave to their body? I'm just saying. Because to me, I look at the pineal gland is like, yeah, it's your gateway to the spirit realm, but it's also the protector of, you know, not being empty. Like, you know, like if they're going to send that signal out, if you're, if you're active spiritually, they can't really mess with you. But if there's nothing there, then you just become like what, what they call, I believe, an automaton. You just a, a biological, electrical, magnetic robot. Or like some people believe that we're going to have like a zombie apocalypse. That might be possible too. It might be a combination of all that. Who knows? But I do know that something's going to happen. I don't know when though, but I know that this event people that we just went through and are still going through, right? Because the, the, the science plants doesn't have the same, uh, presence that it once had but it still has a presence so they're just trying to f figure out different ways to give it to more people but i think there's been enough to where if something does happen you're going you're going to see like you're going to see a lot of chaos man there there was something with that man that was so significant to our reality to to the way of to the way we live now i mean <laughs> You know what's crazy? I still see people wearing masks. And it's like everything has proven to be suspect. <laughs> everything. In broad daylight, clear to see, crystal freaking clear. And yet, you still got people that are holding on, man. And think about that. Think about the dummies. 
Imagine those dummies without pineal glands. <laughs> That's night of the living dead, man. For real. But brother, to go back to what you were saying, those killings in Chicago, brother, that's very much, um, those are projects. Those are, those are social engineer, uh, social engineered programs that are put out. Those are CIA operative, like it, that, that, those killings in Chicago make no sense, people. It makes no sense, but yet it's happening. It's all by design, man. There's no way that one particular city is just going to have so much death. There has to be a certain force that's manipulating that to manifest and be consistent in its manifestations, man, because it's been very consistent out there. But when you're getting supplied these super duper weapons, somebody's going to be itching to pull that trigger. What else we got? We got, look at the zombie movies. They were in vogue years ago when it was zombie shit everywhere. That's what Lucy's warning people was to come. Yeah. Zombies has been very, uh, very like, uh, whew. I remember growing up as a kid in the eighties, it was a big deal to watch night of the living dead. It was like a big event in the movies, man. That's when people used to clap in the movies. I don't know if people clap in the movies anymore. But that was back in the days. That was very normal. People would clap in the air, in the airports, and when the, air, the airplane would land, and then in the movies when I was growing up. But then that kind of faded away. <laughs> this probably happens every once in a while, but it doesn't happen as common as it used to. I remember back in the days when... um. Waffle House, when I was growing up as a kid, back in the, you know, 80s. And even, yeah, even the 80s. Well, I couldn't say early 90s. I would say late 80s, man. Waffle House, every single employee would say good morning to you. Good morning. 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 It was, it was like, Damn. I was from New York, too. I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I was like, they're crazy. <laughs> but, you know, it's nice. It was, it was nice. Um, let's see how much time we have left. Oh, we still got just under half an hour, people. Um, I hope that people really understand how serious it is and the times that we're living in, and how faith is a test. And I say that because your faith, as consistent as you pursue it with the intentions that you put out into the world, into the universe, the, the reciprocal of that energy that's coming back to you is going to keep you faithful. But as you're being faithful, you're going to have these haters, man. You're going to have these people poking at you and trying to get into your ear and yell at you with a high a high tone and really try to just get you to get off balance, lose balance, off course, get you irritated, discombobulated, and I think, um, you know, I was going to do a new segment today, right? But I'll save that for next Tuesday. But these, the theme around this show is going to be called Tightrope Tuesdays because it's going to focus on having this, these types of shows will be reminders to staying focused, to remaining righteous and staying disciplined and actually starting to embrace it. You know, I don't know. How many of you that are listening to this show presently and those that'll be listening later, but me personally, I'm really having fun with not being in a status quo mentality. Like I'm having fun doing that. I'm having fun 
pursuing things that are meaningful, that bring joy to my life, instead of trying to find something like that outside of who I am and trying to find that experience externally. I'm very much content with the person that I'm becoming because that's what we are, people. We're human beings. We're spiritual beings contained in a physical body that's learning things within the body. So that's why we are beings because we are being something every single day. We are an essence. And I choose to walk this righteous tightrope and be on the quest for salvation because it's worth it. And I know a lot of people say, I want to get that crown. I want to get that robe or I just want to gain salvation. And if I have the opportunity to do something else that the most high deems me worthy of, I'm going to take that responsibility. So I ask you, brothers and sisters, are you recognizing that righteousness in your life, wherever it may be? Are you appreciating it? Are you embracing it and realizing that it's not very common to have things going right in your life these days, right? It's a lot of, a lot of anxiety, a lot of, uh, worry, discontent, a lot of frustration. And then you got a lot of people that are just trying to forget that the, that this country and that this world along with it is kind of fucked up right now, but you can find peace outside of this treacherous place, man, called the United Shenanigans of America. Because people, I grew up out here, but I know that this, once you know this place is a big sham, it's like a big lie that has a long legacy to support its lies. It's like, come on, man. But in due time, in due time, in due time, I know that the wrongs will be made right. Because one thing I've, I've learned through experiences is that it can't rain all the time. The sun will come out eventually. And sometimes it does feel like it's cloudy forever and it's, it's just nothing but rain spiritually because you have so much around you that is more popular, that is made to seem normal, that's really just wicked and toxic. And it's like, how do you maintain balance when you're walking that path in that type of environment? It takes great discipline. It takes a lot of faith because faith is the test. You know, when I decided to come up with the title for this, I just thought about how it becomes a lot easier when you start to recognize all that's right in your life because most of the time, all that's right in your life is happening. It's the little things that are all happening in coincidence with each other, where they're all in balance with each other. And there's this very uh, definitive harmony. And it's not, I'm not trying to say that it's, that it's your life is perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. Everybody has challenges that they deal with. But what I'm talking about is, that even the challenges that you have and what you experience, you're not going to let it overwhelm you permanently, ever. It's almost like you, you don't know what that means anymore. You don't know what that means so much that the actual emotions and feelings attached to it, you don't even remember no more. Because you done took yourself to uh, a fifth dimensional way of thinking. You went beyond third and fourth. That's what I'm talking about. So recognize the righteousness. And I also 
now that it comes to mind, I feel like recognizing righteousness is recognizing the universe, recognizing the true essence in everything, man. It comes with a lot of discipline because we get distracted by the worldly world of things. And this is not, and, and when I say the worldly world of things, let me make it very crystal clear on what I mean by that. This experience, even me being on this podcast right now, believe it or not, this is not how we're supposed to be living our lives. This is not how we're supposed to be functioning. This is not how we should be waking up and going to sleep with it. We should be having a whole far, far better, a hundred billion times better than this very controlled and manipulated lifestyles that we're living. But we're learning. It's meant to be. We got to deal with it and make the best of it because that's where we're at. And the Most High allowed us to get another opportunity to be present. So let me go back to the, uh, um, the chat room. If anybody has any other questions, um, I think I, I pretty much got the point across. This wasn't going to be like a show where um, I was going to hone down on the subject too long. Um, that's why I played a little bit more music. But I hope that you brothers and sisters got some great substance from today's show and also today's theme, which is a theme that I've broken down. And now I got some imagery and I'm going to put a video. I'm going to narrate a video about walking the righteous tightrope in life because there's too many of us that have been conditioned to believe that the light is at the end of the tunnel, brothers and sisters. And I'm here to tell you that it is not. Don't believe the hype. The light is always there within you. And as long as you can turn that switch on in the present moment, you can literally change your life in a moment's notice, man. And that's the that's the true grace and beauty and also wonderful feeling about what the Most High does and how the Most High operates in everything and all things that ever was and ever will be and will continue to be, plain and simple. So I'm going to play another beat. And then we can rock out to it. I'm going to, I'm going to exit here. And before I go, you know, I just want to say that appreciate all the people that support the network of awareness. And I truly appreciate those that um, come into the chat room as well as those that download the show and all the people that follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Telegram. Uh, the people that are following me on LinkedIn. Shout outs to the people that are following me in the small business entrepreneurs group that um, that I'm a part of now out here in uh, the Tampa Bay area. Appreciate your support. I hope good things come from that because I'm, um, I'm like, you know what? I, I need to do work more locally, you know? So that's something I'm going to be gearing to do for the rest of the year is doing more local work and um, networking and providing services for the businesses that are around me within a, you know, a 25 to 50 mile radius. Well, no, not even a 50 mile within a, I would say within a 15 to 30 mile radius, just people locally. So people, I want to say thank you for tuning in on this live show for season four, episode 22 for tight rope Tuesdays. Um, thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. So don't look for the light at the end of the tunnel, people. Just understand it's in you. You just got to get it out. You got to let it shine. Let it shine bright and find your way through this darkness and, and deflect and deflect the distractions. Stay focused, right? And when you live in the present, there's just always going to be an opportunity for a new beginning. So this is all the information saying peace, love, and light, people. And let's play something that we haven't played in a while. I feel like it's a very inspirational beat. And 
It is called, give me one second here. Resurrected Rage. Peace, love, and light, brothers and sisters, and Barakata. You are now tuned in to the Network of Awareness. To the Network of concludes the Network of Awareness podcast. For more information on the Network of Awareness, please subscribe via email to our website, networkofawareness.com, and follow us on Spreaker.com or any other listening apps you use. For any questions about the NOA, email us at aura at networkofawareness.com. Thank you for listening to one of the fastest growing podcast shows on society and culture in America and abroad. When you live in the present, there's always an opportunity for a new beginning.